What's up today, YouTube? It's me, DB, back with you for a review of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, now open at the Islands of Adventure at Universal Orlando. Now, basically, this Wizarding World is uh, the village of Hogsmeade, along with the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I'll also be talking a little bit later about how Universal's planning on doing Diagon Alley and the new Hogwarts Express train ride. Now, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at the Islands of Adventure has its own replica of the Village of Hogsmeade and its own Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I had a chance to uh, get into the Hogwarts School, although I didn't take the Forbidden Journey ride, and it was still pretty cool. I even got to meet up with some students from uh, Bow Battens and Drumstrang, uh, if you guys remember them from Year 4 of the Harry Potter fil films and novels. Uh, now, this village of Hogsmeade has something that's very unique. Uh, something that really didn't happen in the world of Harry Potter. It had its own Ollivander's Wand Shop. That's right, not only could you buy your own wand, but once you enter into the uh, small little shop, if you are selected, then you'll get to test out uh, uh, two or three wands just like Harry did during the first film. But don't forget, the wand chooses the wizard. Another cool thing about the Wizarding World of Harry Potter is that you get to try authentic wizard treats, such as butterbeers and chocolate frogs. But don't worry, you don't have to catch the chocolate frogs, and you still get a cool card. Unfortunately, as you see here, I got, I got Salazar Slytherin, which, as you know, was named for the Slytherin house. Uh, and that started the whole uh, you-know-who slash uh, Lord Voldemort backup story. <laughs> And there's also tons of other stuff that you can buy and look at, too. Things such as, you can buy a shirt from Filch's uh, store of confiscated goods or something like that. Or you can even check out uh, a display of Gilderoy Lockhart's uh, books. Uh, and, of course, uh, the balls used in Quidditch are what you see here. Unfortunately, the Golden Stitch, though, is not here. But you can also check a look at the most moving pictures, too, and they're pretty authentic. There's tons of other stuff to do at the Hogsmeade area and Hogwarts, uh, but on July 8th, The Wizarding World of Harry Potter will be expanding to the Universal Studios side of the Universal Orlando Resort. There'll be an authentic version of Diagon Alley, complete with its own Ollivanders, plus Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts at the Gringotts Bank, and you can even get to ride the Hogwarts Express, too, so that would be pretty cool. So that's going to do it for me today, folks. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed my review of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. I'll be doing the Seuss's Landing with the Cat in the Hat ride as my next review. So I'll definitely be seeing y'all there. And remember to, uh, if you like this video, then please always leave a like and a comment down below. And also, definitely check out this place next time you're in Orlando. And also, check out the films and all the books, too. So I'm DB, and I'm out.